So we are going to organize this by the damage it does to the overall body and mind. Starting with the least damage to the most. Emotional damage! So here we are with level 1. The fast food fool. You know when you work in a customer facing job like this, you often get treated like a second class citizen. One time I was spinning a sign for a pizza place and had people shout all kinds of profanity at me when driving by. I mean, I was near a ghetto apartment complex, but it went a bit like this. Hey, you loser. Oh no, you did not. Whew. And you know within regular schedules and the moderately accepted drug use on the job, it always makes it a very stable environment. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine just like he is. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. Huh? You told me? And just to add to all this, the low pay of these jobs adds a lot of extra stress to people's life. And trying to make ends meet can just make things a little bit more difficult and put people on edge. I've seen many mental breakdowns in these environments. But I am telling you right now, that mother that mother back there is not real. And here we are with level 2, the Delivery Diva. And while being a delivery driver is physically taxing and possibly taxing to the extroverts, <laughs> it is a job where you spend all day alone. And you might even end up talking to yourself. Hey little box, hate to see you go. Safe journeys, homie. Yeah. Thanks. Wait, what? And with a mix of dog attacks, rolled ankles, and bad lifting foam, this job can really just lead to some real pain in the body. I mean, all you need is one bad situation like this. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Ow! And there is a real positive to this job. Being out in nature and or just the world in general really does help your mental health as well. And when you walk all those steps in a day, it's really good for you. Unless of course you're selected to deliver to the less than safe side of certain areas. Then it goes like this. Well, that was easy enough. Alright, let's get back at it. What the... Yo, get out. You heard me. Shoo. Shoo. And now we have level 3, the cleaning criminal. You know, I gotta say, cleaning toilets has gotta be one of the most degrading things. Maybe that's why it's an untouchables job in the caste system in India. Alright bucko, go clean the toilets. And I used to be a cleaner in a major factory, and I gotta say, once you go from the workers area to the executives area, you know, since everything's significantly better. You go from a lunchroom with generic furniture and a couple microwaves and a vending machine, but then you get to the higher up area, which has a basketball, like hoop area, ping pong tables, lunch area as well is just crazy nice. They have a food store, serving line, they even had like a brand new truck just chilling there as a prop. Sometimes I wonder why my life's been filled with all these polarities of human life. <laughs> Look at that fool. And there was one other cleaning job I interviewed for. I didn't get it, but these cleaners were like the Navy SEALs of cleaners. They went up to the ceiling and wore a harness. Like, I can only imagine the atrocities they end up seeing up in those spaces. Alright, keep raising me. Yo, what the? Yo, get me down, get me down, get me down. There's something up here. And coming in at level 4, we have the Tradesman Tribulation. You know, this is still a blue collar job, but this is the good paying side of it. Such as plumbers, electricians, HVAC, and so on. But these jobs do come with their own problems, especially physically. A lot of these people will often have to get joints replaced, and fun fact, once you get that surgery, you no longer float in water. But hey, look at the bright side, you're still 60% water, or maybe without that joint, 59%. Oh good, he's waking up. Hello, Mr. Smith. I got some good news, and I got some bad news. Uh-huh. News? What? Well, the good news is the surgery was a success. But the bad news is you're now made of less water. My condolences. No! And to be completely real with you lads, if you don't have any specific plans for after school, the trades is a good route since you can do it for a little and make some good money. And you know, some tells me with time these jobs only pay more since it is an old man's industry. And you know what old men do? They tend to retire. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Got him. Hey kid, what are, what are you doing? Stop. Now on to level 5, we have the Warehouse Wallowers. You ever got a paper cut before? Well, in this field, we're gonna do that one more time, but with cardboard. And I gotta say, it's not in my top 10 experiences. It went a little bit like this. Hey bud, can you toss that to me? 
All right, yeah, here you go. Oh no, what the? And I don't think all warehouses do this, but the one I worked at used hot glue tape, which is pretty much a tape dispenser that throws out glue-covered tape. And you put that on the boxes all day, you gotta peel that dirty glue off your hands by the end of it. And if that bothers you, then this job could be a bit difficult for you. Sometimes you gotta unload a truck as well, or load one. But this can be really heavy lifting, and it can lead to something like this. Come on, Joe, quit sitting around. And here we are with level six, the fear factory. This is an absolute nightmare. I've worked in a couple of factories and either I'm not built for it or it's just actually insufferable. So in what factory I worked in, not a single person spoke English. Not even the manager, he spoke Cambodian. So when I'm trying to figure out what I was supposed to do, the best instructions they gave me went a little bit like this. 23, 23, 23. Oh, uh, wait, what do you mean? 23. What? Uh, sorry, me, me no speak English. Um... Uh, okay. <laughs> and I don't know what it is, but the conditions are just usually pretty brutal. Sometimes you do 12 hour shifts with no AC at all. And the two jobs I had, had the two extremes. One was shoveling frozen food into a machine. And it was to make frozen meals so it was colder than a fridge in there. The other one was pushing wood boards through a machine that looked like it was invented before the Model T. And you really want to know what the most brutal part of all this was? It was during the summer and there was no AC. But that's actually not the most brutal part. It gets worse. I had to stick my hand into the machine whenever something got caught in it. And I would pull it out and you never know what's going to happen. Like if I did that long term, I imagine it would go a little like this. Oh no. The machine's stuck. Go ahead and grab that piece out. Um, okay. And here we are on the final frontier, level 7, the Construction Crusaders. You know, seeing how I lived in Arizona, where it hits nearly 120 degrees on some days, I gotta give props to the construction workers for putting up with that, since you could not pay me enough to do that. I'm so pale, I might as well be reflective, so I'd die instantly, and it would probably look like this. Hey, welcome aboard, so we're gonna, uh... What? And you know we can't forget about the damage the sun can do to you. I mean, look at this truck driver who only had the sun on one side of his face. Or this guy who only wore jeans but never wore long sleeves. The sun is not to be messed with. I mean, I was in the second grade and on the 100th day of school, my teacher had us do this. Alright class, for the 100th day, we are going to stare at the sun for 100 seconds. A few moments later. Now if you did that, you're stupid. You shouldn't stare at the sun. Really, bro? But on the real, plus rep to all the construction folks for building the world. I know they get a lot of hate for blocking roads, but it's a necessary evil. But I know some jobs put you into a position where you may be mistreated. And a mindset I hold, or maybe even an ability per se, is I see myself in everything. So if I was gonna go kill a spider, I see the perspective of the spider. And it looks like this. <laughs> Ew, what is that thing? I'm gonna take it out. And you don't need to be as extreme about it as I am, but you should at least live by the golden rule. Treat others how you want to be treated, and go ahead and leave a comment on what field you think is the worst, and feel free to click this video right here.